hi and welcome to excel payroll system so i'll start by entering the customer we're making we're writing details about his own payment so his address let's enter his address right there 76 let's see home road there and postcode cfj 09 and gender as a male and employer national petroleum and his name right there is real okay let's enter refox there right so his inner city wages within is that and basic pay is well paid and the next is uh, let's make a couple of money over time and right here period of pay is for tax code let's say c and ni number and i then and i code there so all we just need to do is click on add if i click on add payment we get all of those other information gross pay total deduction including student loan net pay and the other thing is if i come here now i can add all of this information straight onto the spreadsheet you can see there are two other information there already so for ray fox if i click on add items right there so what you get is ray fox information there okay just to verify that's ray fox information as you can see there's nothing here recommendation so if i say let's go for ray fox ray fox period for uh, pay tax period for yeah that's fine tax period for information so if i click on add right here let me move that up so that you see it you see that those informations are now added again for refurbs so what i'll do next is take you guys straight into excel development environment we using a bba and you guys will see how i've managed to put together this very beautiful and challenging tutorial so let's go straight into excel now hi welcome to excel vba payroll system so i'm going to start by selecting my menu right there called developer if you don't have the developer on board you can always go to file select options select customize ribbon and right there that will be a developer you can always check it and click on ok right there underneath here Let's click on ok your developer ribbon should appear there you can also press alt alt plus f11 to get your developer ribbon on board so i'm just going to press alt 11 right now and this is what you get immediately get your development environment right here the next thing is you go to insert user form and that's my user form there i will now define my user form so that you right click and select on the property so for my user form i will give the width approximately let's make that let me move this up so that you guys can see it that's my width right there so i'm just gonna make that approximately 1020 yeah that, that will do it okay that's my weight right there so let's go for the height and the height there so let's say approximately 680 that's that's a property for the height and width set and maybe the form if i would like i can change the name to payroll as the name of the form then the caption right there you can change the caption as well to payroll let's press enter you see it is changed right up here okay so the next thing i'll do now is just to start get the property right there and start with the development so have my label selected so i'm going to need a couple of those labels so the first thing is let me just change the property of this label uh, let's go for the font let's change the font let's make that something readable or maybe 14 might, might be all right let's go for 14 okay that's it 14 and i need a couple of those really let's copy it across so i will change the caption for each of these fonts so that will be employers employer employer name and this and change that to address then let's go for maybe postcode there or maybe gender there so i will now add my text box your text box here yeah that's fine okay so but what i would do is just to speed up the design of the interface and get back to you guys
okay guys this is just an update of the, what i've done so far just want to show it to you it's still going to take some time to put all of these together but uh, as you can see i have most of the data on on a frame so i will now sort on the other ones it's easier to group them in a frame than uh, just to leave them separately like the ones i have in here and again it uh, actually tells you what is and what is going on in the particular frame so let me just keep it up and uh, i will get back to you guys but what this is what i've been doing so far is not that of a big deal all i just do is copy each of these frame i've copied i've just copied this now so i will now modify this to as follows so something like this will become my tax period and the next one will be pension code or tax code let's call that tax code and then uh, followed by the ni number so you enter your ni number there let's come here and just change this to ni code there so that's that out of the way another most important thing to take care of each of these text box you have to give them a name i'm going to call this txt employer name employee name so that's how we know which text box i'm actually addressing txt address so i will just pick that up and uh, get back to you guys that will be txt post code so let me speed that up and get back to you all okay guys the interface for this uh, payroll system is almost ready so let me just show you guys what i've done so far although it still need a little bit of modification all well, right here i've, I've included uh, a recommendation text box there i may have to add heading there and just maybe redistribute this uh, component here so let's just get that out of the way move this aside here and uh, maybe bring this down a little bit bring this one down okay let's see how that looks move this in a little bit uh for gender i don't think we need that much maybe something like that that'll be fine and postcode that's okay so let's just enter maybe heading here we don't have to but we might as well since we have we have some space in there let's get the property and just change the caption of that to payroll systems okay so that's fine payroll system and maybe change the fonts to something a little bit larger and maybe we let's see yeah I can still move this up and move this down a little bit more yep why not okay let's do that and then uh, enter the name there i think i've missed the name there okay i've re-entered this very this missing label there and uh, i think this gender i should just take it back to the former size so if i run the program this is how it looks like now so what is left for us to do is now just to enter all of these in a spreadsheet so that we can always click on the button and send everything to the spreadsheet and apart from that we do need a button maybe we don't need some buttons to do all of the necessary exporting of the data onto the spreadsheet then we, we need to do that now okay let's get that done okay what i'll do is just to maybe shrink the recommendation and have uh, my buttons here somewhere so that would be much better so let's take this up maybe copy maybe i should just copy this let's copy this bring it down here and just delete as follows i just need my buttons there so let's get the property right there there's some buttons right there so we need a couple of those let's change the font size of this with one first with the properties open change the font size to maybe okay 12 12 will be fine and make that bold okay that's fine okay guys so uh, this is how the system looks right now well, i want to change this instead of a text box because that's going to be a reference number i would like the system to generate the pay reference itself with the payee's name and uh, period i think the period yeah okay now let me go into the design view i will delete this and insert a label so maybe just copy this very label yeah copy it across because the font is already set and just change the interface 
so let me change that interface to so that the background looks white okay let's go for white background yeah that's fine and maybe the border style as well okay move it down a little bit so that's fine and get rid of the content in there yeah get rid of that one and just change the name to lbl ref or maybe so that's fine then the next thing I will now do is uh, start with my coding immediately double click on this very button the appear ref and just say lbl pay ref dot caption equals equals that so if I choose to run this system now and click on pay reference that's the pay reference I've been given for whoever this would be but we're gonna need the person's name and maybe NI number okay just to verify who the, who the payment was made to so let's look for NI yeah I think NI would be cool yeah why not NI was the name of that object itself it's called NI so copy that and double click on let's say I'm gonna say LBL pay ref dot caption equals equals LBL pay ref dot caption close or should I enter an underscore there underscore close and dot text okay so that will give me that will give us an information of whoever the pay was made to so let me just try that out and see so pay is generated and i number let's say p pg okay so if i now look for pay ref so that's what i get so i think not until i enter something in here i should maybe disable this in any case that is how it's going to work that's fine so the next thing is let's deal with the easy part first we need to get rid of exit so let's the exit button come right down scroll up double click on that and just go for on unload I think on I think it's unload me let's see if that will work yeah that works unload me okay so the system is now started so let's move it one more step the next thing I want to do now before I continue is enter all of the necessary information on my spreadsheet here so I need as follows right here I'm gonna enter employee name and then I also have address postcode gender so let's do that as well I need employee address and postcode and gender so that all of the information can be recorded onto the spreadsheet so I'll just speed that up and get back to you guys okay this is how my record spreadsheet looks like so all that is left for me to do is just to enter the recommendation column right there then at the same time we just format each column so select and just right click format the cells so that will be text only and I think this is net pay net pay will be let's go for currency to decimal places and these two they are currency as well and this is just text 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 yeah leave those ones as text and this very one that will be date let's format that to date date right there so let's see the dates might be medium medium all right that's that sorted and uh, deduction wrong spelling there should be a D there as well yeah that's correct deduction will be currency as well those are all currency 
from here down here those are currencies so let's change them format them all to currency as well and to decimal places that's cool and all of the ones we just make that as a text and that will be all yeah that's fine so let's go back into the development environment now and uh, get these three out of the way and this if you notice these are all text box text box and this is just labels you can see they are all labels because I will not be able to enter anything into them so first thing first let me write the code for this that's for dates for the system to generate the, the date itself so with the date let's double click on uh, pay and just right underneath here say LDL date dot caption equals let's format format date comma uh, make that medium medium date and close that and that is the date sorted so if I run the system now and uh, let's say I click on this I end up with my date right there and I just need the NI number to complete that there but supposing I get my system when the system initialize and just get the date in there so user form click and just enter initialize and just enter the date there as well so if I run the system the date will appear on the system straight away so you don't have to update or whatever so the next thing is let's uh, double click on that go right up there declare some variable here option explicit there so the first variable I'll declare is as follows first variable is let's say dim in a city as double let's make that double because we don't know how much you get paid then the next one will be dim basic pay as double as well then followed by dim over time as double all right we have those three sorted so right in in here let's look for add new maybe this should be changed i think i should change the name but we'll double click on that and just say those three variables that will be inner city equals textbox dot text then the basic pay equals txt basic pay I think that name is right dot no that's the wrong name let's look for the name for basic pay was the name and that's the problem uh, where is it right there so basic salary all right then and the other one is overtime so let's go back in there so that will be that dot text and then followed by overtime equals txt overtime dot text okay so lbl gross pay okay dot caption equals let's add all of these together in a city let's come here in a city plus basic pay plus basic pay now plus 
plus overtime there so our first calculation is sorted so if I come in here enter the inner city waiting as that and uh, right here basic pay let's say it's about that over time maybe you made this and if I click on add I just made that so all of those are added but let me format it all and convert it to pound sign so we need to put the currency sign in here so that is the currency sign as soon as you click on that what happen is that changes so let's put it in overtime as well and just change that to overtime copy just change the name and change the name right here and I also need I also have to put that for basic pay um, right here Okay, what about national insurance payment? So let's change that for NI as well. So in here and change that. Okay, I'll just copy that. Now I need that of basic pay right there. Double click on basic pay, yeah, change that. It's going to be much better to get it formatted right now instead of waiting till the end. Okay, if I run it now, let's see what will happen. And supposing the inner city pay is that basic salary, let's see, and the basic salary right there over time. That's the overtime there, and gross gross pay is not there yet, so we need to get that sorted too. So let's go to the gross pay and get that formatted as well. So end that, and the gross pay, yeah, we can get that formatted in here really. Here, gross pay so. Let's copy all of this. Paste it underneath here. For the cross bit, copy this. Copy and format. There. So cross bit is formatted as well. So if I run my program right now, let's say I enter all of my data in there. Too much. I'm coming here. Let's see, that's about a month and over time. And click on add, and that's it. That's how much this guy's made a month. So, what we need to now do is to work out tax pay, pension, student loan, if there's any, and national insurance number then the total deduction comes in here so let's get that sorted now it's very similar to what we've done here so go into the code we need more variable here right there so we need more variable so let me just declare tax it's just to make it more readable tax as as double then I have the pension as double and the student loan as double and the NI payment as double. So I have all my variables in place. So let me just just gonna copy that and be I'm feeling lazy right now. Copy all of that and delete as I go. As I go ahead. So double click on this. So we need to now work out the following. So the tax is gonna be equals gross pay. 
yeah, I should think so. Gross pay. I will just copy all of this. Copy. So the tax pay will be all of these. Let's say the tax you're paying is about, let's say, multiply by, let's just make that up. Nine. Okay. Then divide by 100, that will give you the tax. That's the tax pay. Okay, that's for the tax. Now, pension. How much pension will this guy be paying? So let's get out his pension as well. Maybe approximately 9, 10% or 12% of whatever he receives. And uh, that would be his pension. So for this guy, student loan payment. Let's put that in there. Delete this. Let's say the student loan is about about maybe five percent and an I about three percent of his wages. Okay. Now we now need the total deduction. All of these payments will go straight into txt txt tax dot tax equals that. All of the payment go into tax. Let's that must be right. Let's see. No, it's LBL tax. Attention, LBL, LBL. Student loan is LBL. All right. Okay, they're all LBL. So we'll go back in there and change that. LBL tax. LBL tax dot caption and LBL. Pension, pension dot caption dot caption equals that and LBL student loan dot caption equals that. Then we have LBL payment, LBL payment, and I payment dot caption equals that all right so all of those are now in place so I will have my no that should be deduction take that off I need to see deduction let's see the name okay copy and go back in there yes. dot caption equals all of this so let me rearrange this else the system will give me false information so let's come in here that is for tax i'm just being lazy right now delete all of that copy this this is how it should officially look delete that else the system will give you false information all right that's all of that in place and let's get rid of this now okay so we've now assign the variables into the components or to each comp component and that's how it's meant to be so we now add all of those together here let's add all of this together or i can just add everything in here together let's add tax plus pension plus student loan uh, plus and I payments so that should give us our total deduction so let's run this program and see right now supposing I enter as follows so let me um, click on here that's what I get and here if you add all of this together that's total deduction so to get our net pay and this is deducted from this to get the net pay which is going to be here right there so 
let's work out the net pay as well so that's gross pay minus deduction so the net pay so the name of this is called net pay so copy that go back in my add button right there good and right underneath here enter as follow dot option equals gross pay minus gross pay from deduction okay let's we might as well just get this formatted anyway so let's copy all of these and just start formatting them straight away so come in here get this guy here formatted copy format and format as well so I'll just show you this formatted one then I'll take care of the rest just one more copy this paste right there and get deduction here get it formatted right here right there copy this and paste it in here okay I'll run the program so that you guys see enter my payment in there and that is supposed to be the wages this guy is well paid all right so come in here click and that's it you can see this one is formatted this one is formatted and i need to format all of these ones here as well okay so that's looking good now apart from all of these this are just data you have to enter so period will be period four tax code make that d um, N9 number you can enter that yourself make that up um, NI code let's say NI45 and that is all so all we need here is the name of this guy so let's say his name is Parker let's just say let's call him Peter Parker yeah an address 20 20 option street okay postcode n m9 o you want gender male i think i should make this option as well and I need this reference okay the reference is there that's automatic as well then employer name let's say it's employed by Ashmore 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 Corp all right then name of employee his name is Peter Parker anyway that's it right there so all I need to be able to do is click I think I'm gonna need another device or maybe if I click on add all of this information will automatically show on the spreadsheet and uh, pay able and pensionable we need to transfer one to multiply by the period right there so let's do that okay we need to get the following components just for formatted as well so let me just copy the formula to format copy paste it right there and next repeat exactly the same thing here and here as well and just copy and change the names paste this one in here and there and the student loan copy that paste it in here then pension we paste that in here suppose you guys are following but uh, if you have any problem you can always send me an email and I'll forward this code to you but as you can see it's a very e it's very easy lines of codes anyway might be taking a bit of time to complete so let's run this program now and see again so enter the payment and so on in there I think I need to 
change this uh, format around okay now click on this all right with all of the all of these other device here component here are all formatted into pound sign as well and that's the net pay for this guy well paid guy all right now we have one or two more things to do look into and that's uh, when I click on this I want all of this information to show right away inside the the spreadsheet so we need to get that sorted as well so let's come straight into the spreadsheet okay to take care of adding the information onto the spreadsheet maybe I should just change revise the whole process I'm gonna copy everything I have in here just cut it all off cut and or undo I'll leave that in there all I just need to do is change this one to CMD total there okay now change the caption to total or add payment add payment there now this other caption right here change that to cmd add items and here that will become add items now we add all of the information to the spreadsheet so this add payment or, uh, or wages or uh, let's maybe that should become wages really maybe total wages or payment okay that's fine I'll payment all right and I might need one more button for refresh just for resets I think I'm gonna need one more button right here maybe we should copy one of these and change the name to the reset yeah, that's fine and just reduce this reduce this bring this here and increase this a little bit more and bring these guys down alright that's fine okay that's sorted now so if I double click on add items so what I'll then do is declare the following variables. So I declare the following variables as local variables right there. So what this means is it's from A to 6350. That's a that's a call for column A. So the next thing I'll now say is the variable add add item add new that I declared up there I would then say dot offset that means go to the next line or the next row offset that would be zero comma zero which stands for cell zero dot add value this very value right there and the value I intend to add is txt employee name dot text so that will be for the very first one so I would then I might as well just copy this and change the rest around I have about 20 something 21 or 22 so I'll speed that up and get back to you guys okay I just finished coding this add items so let me just show you guys the codes for the add items then we'll try it out double click on it those are the codes for add items all the way okay now let's go back in here if we double click on reset now let's enter the code of add items and just modify it the 
need that and a preset to be as follows so I'm just gonna copy that and repeat exactly the same thing for the rest of the components and just enter that so let me speed this up and get back to you guys okay that's the reset code there they are the only component that will not be reset there is just the dates right there so maybe we don't even need it at all let me just delete that and that's the reset code guys so i'll now run the program and enter data so let's run it okay now the name will be i said mark andrews That's the name, and then let's say three points root and uh, pro school. Let's let's just say W A five seven and gender male. Okay, reference we cannot enter that, so we have mass names there, right here, and Max works with. Uh, Let's say national petroleum, petroleum. There. Okay, so we have Mark Adam details and period of pay is period four. Task code as D and national insurance number W. There. And uh, NI code VD1 or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. And, and all we just need to do now is to enter his wages right there so that's his wages it's London waiting there and uh, that's his wages there I think I need to move change this around so that it will be more easier okay so that's Max Adams information all I need to do now is to add all, the, all of that up there and Oh, this one is not sorted yet so now this is my spreadsheet there okay, you can see that so if I let's say I move this here if I now click on add items see all of the information we have here of Mark Adams is right in there see that all of those information though this one is wrong we need to move this one to here so that means the employer name should come here or oh, Mark Adams name should be here okay that's fine we just need to make a couple of changes and that's it and the dates right here is not let's close this the dates right there let's get the dates formatted yeah there's not enough room there for the date yeah that's fine so every other thing is fine apart from these two recommendation I've not entered any information there so let's go back into the whole system now and just get that sorted so if we come in here all we need is the period multiplied by whatever tax they've paid okay let's copy that and the pension right so double click on add and right underneath here we need actually I need the name of these guys here tax able tax able and pension able double click and maybe just let's put that underneath here tax able dot caption equals lbl tax dot caption multiply by tax right there multiply by this is that there so when the next one is this we end up and repeat exactly the same thing dot caption equals 
equals period. We need the period of pay. Oh, sorry, this should have been period of pay. So let's go back. What was the name of that? Okay. Here's that in the dot tax. Alright, then this would be thing that would be this dot caption multiply by period of pay as well this period of pay is actually a number so maybe we should declare variable here and just you know maybe declare the variable right in here let's say dim period period as, as integer there then let's say period equals that so all we just need to now do is copy this and paste this in here so the number is now multiplying that all right so the period of pay is ready so we can just try that out and enter some information in there okay so if i click on this there so i just need to format the period of pay to get the data right okay the period of pay is the total tax paid so far that's the multiply that by this will give you the total tax paid so far that's for the taxable pay and uh, the pensionable pay that's it for multiplied by the pension pay for the year so for the whole year it's paid 2000 plus so convert this to pound sign and that's all there is to it so let's let me do that now so now come in here i now need to format all of the above let's format that to pound sign then two of those and the next one copy that paste this right here and paste this right in here as well so that is that sorted now copy this So the last thing would be to now correct the mistakes on here. Just need to move a couple of uh, components around. So I'll get that sorted and get back to you guys. Okay guys, all the errors have been corrected. So let's give it a final run. So we start by entering the following data. Let's go for maybe Natalie Natalie Balls. Okay, so the postcode, let's say, and gender, female, dress, nineteen, overland way. Oh. Yep. Okay, that's Natalie's information. Let's get this right. Copy. Now we come to the employer's name. Let's say she also worked for National Petroleum. Tax period will be, will be for a uh, tax code. That's a tax code right there, and a nine number, and that'll be okay. Enter our wages right there. So let's go for that's our wages now. Oh, that's the London wage. Okay, let's make this the weighting. And here, the wage is still be No, that's too much. Okay. And over time, it's well paid enough. So, now if I click on add payment, all of the following information will be shown on the system. And just to show you guys, there is nothing here apart from the very first 
information on the spreadsheet so let's add something here let's say Natalie's uh, pay payroll information okay all right so have another look there's nothing in there so if I now come in here add items there now let's verify you can see Natalie's information on the spreadsheet and let's go for the comment and see that as well let's go with this so if we open that now we can see the comment of Natalie right in there Natalie's payroll, inf payroll information and that is how you develop your own payroll system using VBA in Excel okay guys it's been a very long tutorial so I'm just gonna say bye for now